8th of June 2022, Sergei Baklikov, Baklikov Live, actual recording already the second video today from St. Petersburg, from Russia, in the place where Neva River meets the Gulf of Finland, which is actually a part of Baltic Sea. Very significant place and exactly the reason why St. Petersburg was founded here. But that's already another story, not the story of this day. Today here to Sevkabel Ports, Northern Cable Ports, uh, Northern Cable Factory Ports, I came for another reason. Here I came to visit the uh, uh, Cards of Socialism show, or should I say exhibits. Northern Cable Factory Port. The factory founded in 1879 by Karl Genrich Siemens. Tesla. Tesla coil. But this is like the real Tesla, Nikola Tesla, not Elon Musk Tesla. Sev Kabel, Northern Cable Factory still exists here, but they no need ports anymore. So, so that's why now it is turned into amazing, amazing public space. And now here, in one of the former departments of Sev Kabel Port, here goes the uh, Cars of Socialism exhibit. The track GAS-52 open up the exhibit. GAS, it's uh, Gorkovsky after Zavod, the city of Gorky, now it's called Nizhny Novgorod. The track like this was uh, released from 1964 to 1993, cistern beer. So yeah, the track like this was bringing the beer, let's say, to the city markets and uh, people were buying it they uh, were like uh, it, it was a tap beer and they tap it into the polythene pockets or maybe into the jar and uh, I even I remember such uh, uh, trailers with like smaller cistern with kvass kvass it's amazing beverage it's a fermented like such a rye breads based on rye breads um, with like a little a little dose of alcohol. I mean, it's not alcoholic drink, but it has an alcohol. It's amazing. It's amazing. Kvass is amazing. Hi, Lenin. Lenin, the founder of USSR and leader of world proletary. And this is another Gaz, Gaz 24 Volga. This model was released from 1970s and yes in the soviet days most of taxis were gas 24 i remember this perfectly well exactly this model was released from um, 1985 a little bit modificated a little bit awesome awesome yeah i remember that when i was a boy and when parents Coal taxi, like you, you had really like coal, you know, to make coal through the landline phone, and uh, then in maybe like 40 minutes, it were coming Volga. Actually, the classmates of Volga Gas 24, this is Tatra 613, produced in. Czechoslovakia yeah back then Czechoslovakia well this car was not used as the taxi in Czechoslovakia back then uh, as taxi they used like simpler cars but big shots big shots love this car it looks really good 
by the way, design was made by the Italian company Carrozzeria Alfredo Vinali. This car was produced since 1974. Another truck, this is Zil 157. They produced it from 1958 to 1994. This is um, like post-World War II military track. Back then it was made according to all the military needs. However, it turned to be a, a very universal like working horse, the real working horse. And they used it on a uh, construction site and the fields. Meanwhile, in about the same time in Czechoslovakia, they started producing the uh, tracks like this. This is Praga, Praga V35. Also like had to be, uh, first of all, the military track, but used for, for many different tasks, even like a fluorography, uh, like X-ray, X-ray, portable room. This model was produced from 1953 to 1985. And now this is the car which is considered as one of the most successful Soviet cars, Gaz 13, also known as Chaika Seagull. They started producing it in 1959 and uh, produced until 1981 but the first model was already introduced on Expo 58 in Bruxelles where this car got a Grand Prix. Well, this car actually became the result of uh, Nikita Khrushchev visits to the West, to the United States for the, uh, you know, exchange, exchange of experience. Yeah, he said that, you know, there's already socialism in the Soviet Union and uh, to the 1980s must be uh, constructed communism. So there don't have to be the uh, return to capitalism. However, however, he welcomed the visits of the Soviet delegations to the states and uh, vice versa, the uh, Western, American and European visits to the Soviet Union for the uh, exchange of knowledge, experience. And this is Tatra 603, Czech Republic response to Chaika, Chaika Gas 13. This car in Czechoslovakia they started producing in 1956 and finished in 1975. Pretty elegant, elegant looking car. Tatra, Tatra 603. Ish 2715, produced by Ish Factory, which is located in Izhevsk. By the way, the motherlands of Mikhail Kalashnikov, the inventor of uh, AK-47. They started producing it uh, from 1972 to 2001. The thing is, uh, to 1970s uh, was obvious the need of like uh, such a lightweight cargo cars to make it cheaper. The transportation of something uh, of something would have a light weight instead of like using the track all the time. For example, the uh, uh, post mail, bakery, household techniques, like some furniture, not a big furniture, for example, the chairs or little sofa or maybe little table. So it's like much better just to use the car like this than the whole track to move like uh, a couple tables and uh, maybe four chairs. And uh, um, the uh, Eastern European analog, it's Zhuk, Zhuk, 
AO7B. It's uh, Polish. The car produced in Poland. They produced it from 1973 to 1998 in Lublin. You see the car where like okay for maybe a transportation of a little group of people something like micro bus and uh, for some light cargo zhuk and now whoa 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 this is VAS or should I say VAZ2103 also known as Zhiguli also known as Lada also known as Lada 1600. They started producing it in 1972. And back in 1970s, it was the most prestigious, the most luxury car for the Soviet intelligence. Dudes, dudes. Well, it's not the exact copy of Fiat 124 but this is the model that was designed in a collaboration with the specialists from Tagliati, Soviet Union and Turin, Italy. Big time. You would be considered as a big shot in 1970s if you had uh, 2103. By the way, I had a car 2106 which looks uh, pretty similar to this one. So before 2106, 2103 was like the uh, most, one of the most prestigious cars. So the uh, Eastern European response came a little bit later in four years. Since 1976, they started to produce Skoda. Skoda 120 Czechoslovakia and uh, Skoda 120 was produced until 1990 while 2103 was produced until 1983 but then they produced 19, uh, 2106 the engine in the rear trunk. In 1990, s after the collapse of USSR and after Iron Curtain fell off, a lot of cars from all over the world started coming to Russia. And so uh, the demands of uh, people growing up and uh, it is uh, became obvious pretty soon that needs uh, to upgrade the models. Not many people already wanted 2103, 2106, not even 2109. And so Moskvich, Moskvich car factory in 1998 started to produce this model, which is 2142R7, also known as Ivan Kalita. They produced it for three years uh, since 1998 to 2001 but I can tell you that they uh, relatively they produced not much of them because I uh, I never saw this car too much in the streets of Russia let's say the uh, uh, 2110 VAZ like Lada 2110 then 2111 they were way more popular and uh, the Czech Republic, Czech Republic version of this, it's um, Tatra, Tatra 700. They produced it also for only three years, since 1996 to 1999. I think the car is looking pretty good with uh, such a, you know, like the end of 1980s beginning 1990s flavor flavor well at least in my imagination
In these parts of the exhibits introduced the regular buses, passenger buses. This is Lias 677M, produced in Likino Dulovo, the town in Moscow region. And damn it, now I feel, ki feel kind of old because I remember as this construction with the sign of bus stop as, uh, as this bus. There was the bus number four in my district in Ufa, where I, where I lived in my childhood and uh, teen years. I remember there was just uh, another color, like in my district it was the uh, brown, uh, not brown, like a cherry, you know, cherry color. And I remember even the driver's name was Salavat. Yeah, I now even remember the spirits. It's funny, they have the uh, grand piano. And this is the first uh, bus I see with the piano inside of it. They produced this bus from 1967 to 2002. And this is Carosa. Carosa. Carosa C734. It's the Czech bus. They produced it from 1980s to 1997. To 1970s in Soviet Union also came the demand for the relatively off-road buses not only like you know the city buses like those ones because it was an active stage of development including the development of uh, unexplored unexplored lands so we need like more uh, the, the buses more like this the buses for an off-road and uh, Paz 672M and uh, this uh, GDR, like a German Democratic Republic, Robar 3000, was a great for that. Paz 672M. Paz is like uh, Pavlovo car factory. Pavlovo, the town in Nizhogorodska Oblast. Uh, they use uh, they use for the transportation of uh, the specialists like in chemistry and physics archaeologists uh, when they explored the new lands like in siberia taiga far east and uh, you know after their explorations in the evening they used just like you know sit next to the fire singing the songs under the guitar this is actually also something what developed the uh, um, camping like a camping movement in Russia they produced such a bus from uh, 1967 to 1989 but they I believe still produced the buses well a little bit different but in, in Russia especially in the provincial towns you still can meet a lot of pass buses. Another bus like that, it's Robar LO3000. It's the one produced in GDP, Germany, German Democratic Republic. And the final thing I'm going to show you is this trolley bus. This is Škoda. Škoda 9TRH27. Well, exactly this one works in Crimea, the Soviet Union. And you know, such a trolley bus. 
they produced from 1961 to the beginning of 1980s was also used for uh, the movie theater. It's like forcible movie theater. They were uh, like moving the movie theater equipment here. You see Yalta, Crimea. And used to show the movies. Oh, so here you even can sit down. Wow, it looks awesome. I mean, this is for the first time I'm sitting behind the wheel of the trolley bus. Остановкорочная училища. Следующая Рабор. Двери закрываются. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it big time. This is the real, the real exhibits, the exhibits of the cards of socialism, big time. Okay, my name is Sergey Baklukov. This is Baklukov Live. Never forget to comment, like, subscribe. Beer and quads to you guys.